Hello everyone. Welcome to the another video in the series of Azure ML Prompt Flow. So till now we have seen how to get started with Azure ML Prompt Flow, how to utilize Fire Index, and we had also seen to how we can use Azure AI Search. So along with that, uh, in the, my last episode, I demonstrated how you can use the prompt variant, like how you can create multiple prompts to analyze the response of your model. So in this video, we will see how we can consume as well as deploy the flow which we have just created and a language we will be using python and the editor we will be using here is vs code so let's get started so i have already created connections uh, the runtime and uh, let me quickly go ahead and start my compute first okay so by the time it will start i can quickly walk you through this so i have already created a connection which is having azure open ai model and then I am having a runtime which is configured with the compute instance that I have already created. So these are the two things which I have already done. Let's go ahead and quickly create a new flow and I'll just go with the standard flow because the overall idea of this video is to showcase how you can deploy and use that code which was generated by this Azure prompt flow. So if this scenario is clear, we will definitely extend it to much more detailed scenarios in my upcoming videos. So let's get started with the very basic one first. So I will name it as a flow and I would just say depth. Uh, click on create and it will go ahead and create a new flow for us. Well, so first of all, we need to go and set the runtime, but as you can see the instances still starting so meanwhile i will go ahead and set up other things so i need not to walk you through this again because these are the basic things which i have already covered the only thing which i can highlight is the input so here in this case input is the topic variable in which we need to provide a topic on which we want to hear a joke or which on which we want a joke so let's say i want a joke on the topic animal so here i have configured then leave these things as, as it is then we'll quickly go ahead and configure our llm settings so this is the chat model because i have taken 35 turbo then maximum token i will restrict it to 200 you can choose the response format let's go with the text and i will stick with the these advanced settings okay let's see so our runtime is up and running let me quickly run this and test it once. So you can see that the nodes are executing. Let's give it, okay, so we are good to go. I will quickly validate the output. So this is a joke about animals. So it is saying, why don't sharks live on land? Because they can't climb trees. Okay, so this is the joke. Now what we want to do is we want to deploy this model so that we can use this from uh, application which is outside this uh, prompt flow or the portal. So what you can do is you here you can see a button deploy. Just click on that. And here you can select whether you want to use the existing settings. If you have already created, then you can definitely choose it from here. Otherwise, just click on the new. And here you need to provide the name of the deployment. So I would say this one and the deployment name, you can rename it if you want. Otherwise, you can leave it as it is also. And this is just for testing purpose. I have taken this VM, but in real production environment, you may have to go for definitely a different one. And I'm just looking for one instance. So let's go ahead, review and create. Okay, just go through all these things. If you want to change anything, you can change it. Otherwise, just click on create and it will go ahead and start the deployment. So you can see on the right hand side, it is saying it is in progress. So it's going to take close to one and a half minutes. Okay, so meanwhile, what we can do is we can go to the endpoints, which is on the left hand side, you can see, because this is a place where our deployment will appear. So this is the deployment and it is still going on. Let's give it few more seconds. 
here you can see that it is in uh, provisioning state is still creating so it's gonna take close to one and a half minutes you can see that the swagger URL and the rest endpoint is generated and the deployment is completed as well so let's refresh it and here you can see the provisioning status succeed so it means we are good to go now so let's go back to the endpoints and click on this one refresh it let's give it a few more seconds okay so here you can see logs uh, what I can do here is now and the next thing what we can do is uh, we need to work on the permission so what you can do is you can go to your machine learning workspace and click on access control so here you can see add button so click on this and inside this you can go and assign the role so you can provide the roles and here you can see there are like two types of member access you can give so either you can give it to service principal or you can also give it to managed identity so what you need to do is you can click on this select members and here you can select to whom you want to what is your managed entity basically so in our case this is the one so this is the one which we need to select just click on this and click on select so once it is done you will see that it is it got added over here in my case I have already done it so I'm not doing it again so once this is done we can go back to our endpoint and just test it So let's click on this endpoint and here you can see on the right hand side my provisioning state is succeeded here also it is succeeded and you can see that here also uh, there is a green tick mark so once all these things are verified you can just click on the test and inside test you can select like what kind of editor do you want so either you want this kind or you want a json one so let's go with this form one and here you need to provide your input so let's say you want joke on a fruit this time so write fruit here and click on text so here you can see that the output is coming that why did the banana go to the doctor so let me try it one more so I want a joke on a topic book so here you can see that this is another joke so this is one way to test whether your deployment went well or not so once you feel that okay it's up to the mark and we are good to go then what you can do is you can go ahead and consume it so for that you can click on that consume tab and here is the rest endpoint as well as the keys and then you have the sample code which is written in four languages javascript python c sharp and r so you can choose whatever you want i will go ahead with this python code will copy this entire thing and will open my vs code so i will simply go ahead and paste it so this is the code using which you can consume the flow which we just created so you need not to do much changes here so the one thing which we need is the data data is nothing but what input do you want so here i will provide my input in the form of json and let's say i want some joke on a fruit so this is one thing and second thing is we need to provide the api key so api key is the one we just saw over here so let's copy it and paste it over here i think we need not to do any more changes let's quickly run it once so that we'll get to know what is incorrect Oh, so things went well and this is the joke which we just received so you have seen how easy it is to deploy the flow and pull it onto your local machine so this is the application where you can consume your prompt flow so I hope you find this video is useful and let's stay tuned for my next video in which I will be talking about how can you evaluate your prompt flow thanks for watching